important with all the bunkers is technique, is setup. Okay, the biggest thing with the short game is having a similar setup every time, no matter where you're hitting the shot. All right, whether we're hitting a flop shot, a uh, chip, a hitch, bump and run, it's all going to be from the same setup. Okay, so what we want to try and do is three fundamental things. The first thing being our weight being on our left side. All right, so once we get our weight a little bit on our left side, we want to place the ball in the back of our stance. Okay, so it's going to be about just inside of our right heel. What that's going to help us do with our weight left and the bell back is what I was talking to Becky about is that we don't we now don't have to do anything about getting our body ahead of the golf ball. Alright, every time we chip we want a descending club. We want that club to be working down and hitting the grass every time we chip. Okay, if we sit up with our weight back here and the ball up, it's it's almost impossible to get our hands to do that in order to hit down. Okay? So we're setting up in a way that makes it very hard to achieve what we're trying to do. Okay, so we're gonna try and keep our weight on our left side, our hands ahead. So a key way to remember it is to try and feel like our hands are in line with our left side. Okay, if we can do that, our hands will always be ahead of the golf ball. All right, so again, our, our main goal is to keep our weight left, our hands ahead, and now all we're trying to do is hit down on the golf ball. Okay, if we can do that, we can make solid contact. Just out of curiosity, do you think about um, where the face of your club is on the ball? Yes, I, mean, I like to try and set it up where the middle of the face is on the ball at all times. At all times. You know, because what that what that helps us do is eliminate any sort of um, you know commentation that we have to make through the swing. Mm -hmm. If we set it up off the heel a little bit, now subconsciously we have to get that club to start dragging in just a hair to try and hit it in the middle. Okay, so anytime we're doing some sort of motion that's unnatural, the timing and the, the strike is going to be a little off. You know, if we just set it up right with the, the middle of the ball, right in the middle of the club, mm -hmm. then we don't have to do anything. We can just make a motion and we're going to hit it in the middle. We're going to hit it in the middle. Yeah. The nice thing about this is it gives you a visual of what three feet is. Yeah. You know, so you start getting an idea, okay, you know, I can hit it by a little bit and, and, and still, still not be... And still have a three foot comeback. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, um... I think anytime you have some sort of visual feedback, no matter what it is, it, it always helps. Because, you know, I can tell you three feet is whatever it is, but until you see it, until you can get a feel of, all right, well, I know how to hit a 25 footer. You know, if I give it a little bit extra, if let's say I'm trying to make it or whatever the case might be, I know what three feet is. I can run it by a little bit more if I feel confident that day, or maybe I'll try and lag it a little less if I'm a little shaky on the three footers. But, you know, I think the more that you can practice from these three distances, the better you're going to be because you... What this mirror shows us is exactly where our eyes are in relation to the ball. So when I say inside, I want them to be closer to your feet than they are outside the ball. Okay? So when we sit up, we want to get into our hip posture, we want to feel like we're, we're where we should be. And then once we're good, once we take our grip, you should see where your eyes are in this mirror. Okay? get to here and they're outside the ball here or there you can't see them because they're inside here it changes the plan that you're seeing the ball on. 